is Josue Jimenez. I am an incoming freshman going to UC Davis. Hi, my name is Liberty, and I'm going to be a senior at Wallenberg High School this coming fall. My name is Tom Bambala. Um, I'm a senior at Pioneer High School in San Jose, California. Hi, my name is Ahara Speak, and I am a rising junior at Arroyo High School in San Jose, California. What really drew me to Helix was the fact that it was like really minority based and like for diversity and like low income students. Um, I was looking for research programs and like programs like Helix for a while before and I never really got into anything or I never really had anything because of being a first generation student. I didn't have a lot of the opportunities that some of my peers had, so finding something that was really tailored for me and helped me, you know, find out things about like the healthcare field and like, medicine in general and STEM. And like it taught me so much about healthcare in this like short week. Junior Felix really taught me the importance of representation because without representation, none of us would be in that room working up to become mature health professionals. It also taught me the importance of serving your community, especially for me. I come from Sierra Leone and there's a lot of lack of hospitals and doctors. So I really would really love to go back and build clinics there to help my people. With connection to Helix, I am seeing the different types of careers in medicine because I really didn't know that there was so many broad careers in medicine. It doesn't just have to be a physician. It could be a nurse, it could be a PA, it could be an EMT, it could be all these different types of careers. So I love how it's bringing us into the light that you don't necessarily need to go to be a doctor or a physician. You could go in any route and you still will be helping people, mm -hmm. which I really love the Helix and the experience. personal thing and I think that in order to be able to seek it you have to be comfortable with it and I think that's why a lot of people stay back because they're scared of what people might think what people might not help them and they might not be able to get what they needed in the first place um, something personal to me is sort of my grandma like she can't go to doctor appointments herself and my mom has to accompany her because she cannot speak the language and I think that's a problem in itself because um, it's really hard to communicate how you're feeling when it's going through a translator and many different people passing along the message and it's not really staying authentic to what the issue really is. And when the problem isn't solved, you don't feel like you want to go anymore because what's the point? And it's really sad that I feel like in this country where we try to include everybody, it's not really that. And it's hard for people to kind of seek that help when nobody's really like offering it or you have to go through many different um, people in order to seek it and I think that's why it's so special that Helix is sort of having this program where it's giving everyone of all colors an opportunity to be able to pursue something that they love and just so open and that's just the beauty of the program. Reminiscing, I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs>